Hey everyone, so we're going to be looking at how to unlock some of the Squad E members that you might have missed. I'm only going to go through a handful, as the other ones you should have unlocked as you played through the story. So we'll start with Eileen, who is actually very easy to unlock. It's just that her unlock condition does require Curtis, who is someone I never use. The process is pretty easy. All you have to do is bring Curtis into battle and have him get downed. Then after completing the battle, Eileen will join Squad E.先ほどは見事な活躍でした。司令部からの報奨を受け取りください。みんな聞いてくれ。印象体に加わる新しい仲間を紹介する。カルトの妹のエリーン・ブラックウェルです。兄ともどもよろしくお願いします。Next we have Gertrude, who is also very easy to unlock, but if you're focusing on progression, you probably won't see her for a while. She requires you to have 1 million DCT, and then she'll join Squad E. The next few characters can only be unlocked post-game after completing the story, as you need to complete some heart skirmishes to unlock them. First you have Ben Smith. He is unlocked after completing Into the Woods, and you don't have to worry about getting an A rank or anything, you just have to beat the skirmish and he'll join you at the end of the battle. And lastly, we have the four Navy officers, Louf, Sergio, Andre, and Brian. These guys you actually have to work a little hard for. You need to complete a heart skirmish called Through the Fire, and this is unlocked after beating the previous three heart skirmishes into the woods, beneath the frost, and out of the box. Once you complete Through the Fire, a new sub-episode called The Navy Joins the Fight will be added to Chapter 18. After watching this scene, the four Navy officers will join Squad E. セルジオルフだ。貴様、何をジロジロと見ている。Alright, so that's it for the characters that you most likely missed. 
If there's anybody else you're missing, leave a comment and I'll try to help you out. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you next time.